Singing may seem easy, but it actually is pretty complex. It has many different components to it and each of these components takes time and practice to master and control. In this video, I'm gonna discuss and give examples of most issues that you can face and experience when singing. I'm going to use clips of many popular singers, so there is a chance your fave may appear here at some point. There is absolutely no need to get defensive. My intention is not to hate, discredit or bring artists down, all of it is for educational purposes. Also some of the things I will be talking about can be used for stylistic choices, so that's something to keep in mind as well. Proper breathing and diaphragm engagement is probably the most basic yet the most important factor which affects singing. Movements of the diaphragm regulate the act of breathing. There are a few other muscles which support diaphragm in performing its function, like intercostal muscles and pectoral muscles, but I'm not going to go too deep into all of this, so we're focusing on the diaphragm. It's impossible to make any sound without the help of the diaphragm, but when you are singing, you really want to make sure you are making the most of it. Intonation is an accuracy of pitch while you're singing. For singers, it's very important to train their sense of pitch in order to avoid going flat or sharp. Now, to be fair, off keynotes may always happen, even to the most advanced and skilled singers, but still it's nice to keep them as sporadic as possible. Riffs, runs, vocal runs, ad libs, whatever you want to call it, when done well can be very impressive. However, there are a few things that can go wrong when you attempt to do a run. First of all, riffing is basically moving between the notes. If you want a clean sounding run, you have to make sure that all the notes it consists of are right on key. A run can be nicely done in terms of pitch, but still lack the precision and clarity. The notes should be well separated. It's what gives the riff that cool effect we love to hear. Like this. Oh, oh. Like it wouldn't work. So I did. Oh. And the second that I you keep it all to yourself. Yeah. There are a few types of tension that you can experience while you're singing. They all like to mix with each other to affect the sound. Tension, no matter what type it is, always pretty much does the same. It makes the voice sound constricted, thin and strips it out of its natural tone.
Jaw tension is pretty much self-explanatory. It's the tension in the jaw area that is caused not only by muscles contraction but also by the position of the jaw. Vocal coaches agree that your tongue shouldn't interfere with how you sing. Pulling it back or raising it will create tension. So, lungy, I'm doing that er uh, thing, right? So the lungy, 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 lungy is the uh, is it's like more muted. Lungy, can you see how it's more like um uh. Throaty placement is the most difficult one for me to explain. Um, basically, you want to make sure that the sound doesn't get trapped in the throat, but freely comes out from the mouth. Make sure on the am. That was too. That is. That's I am. Don't want to have anything here. Resonate right here. Happy star upon the high, the highest bird. Hang a shine. 